Picture a middle school dance. You've got different groups huddled together, the cool kids like Bitcoin, the artsy kids like Ethereum, and the kids who wear fedoras unironically like Dogecoin. They're all in the same room, but they're not really interacting. That's blockchain right now. Each blockchain is like its own little island, unable to communicate or share information easily. This is a big problem. In the real world, we rely on interconnected systems. Think about sending an email. It doesn't matter if you're using Gmail or Yahoo, the email gets delivered. Blockchains need that same level of interoperability to thrive. We need different blockchains to talk to each other, share data, and work together seamlessly. This lack of communication is holding the whole space back. It's like trying to build a global internet using only AOL Instant Messenger. Sure, it was cool in the 90s, but we've moved on. We need a better way for blockchains to communicate if we want to unlock their full potential. This isn't just a technical issue, it's a philosophical one. The beauty of blockchain is its decentralized nature, but without interoperability, we risk creating a fragmented system where the promise of a truly open and accessible internet is lost. We need to bridge this divide, and that's where the concept of blockchain interoperability comes in. So, how do we fix this mess? Right now, developers are trying to build bridges between blockchains. Imagine a rickety rope bridge, swaying precariously over a canyon. That's essentially what we're working with. These bridges are complex, often unreliable, and prone to security risks. Think about it. You're essentially trusting a third party to move your assets between two different systems. It's like giving your friend your lunch money and hoping they don't spend it on candy before they reach the other side of the playground. And let's be real, sometimes that friend just pockets your cash and blames it on the lunch lady. It's a less than ideal situation. We need a more elegant and secure solution, something that doesn't feel like we're constantly one wrong step away from disaster. This is where the limitations of our current approach become glaringly obvious. We can't rely on makeshift bridges forever. We need to build a more robust and interconnected system, one that allows blockchains to communicate directly and securely without relying on these risky intermediaries. Let's talk about some of the current attempts to bridge this gap. You've got projects like Polkadot and Cosmos, each with their own approach to interoperability. Polkadot is like trying to build a giant blockchain mothership that everyone can connect to. Cosmos, on the other hand, is more like creating a network of independent blockchains that can communicate with each other. These are both ambitious projects and they've made some progress, but they also have their limitations. For starters, they're complex and require a deep understanding of blockchain technology to implement. It's not exactly plug and play, and even if they work perfectly, they're still just partial solutions. They only address interoperability within their own ecosystems. It's like creating a universal translator that only works for two languages. Not exactly the global communication breakthrough we were hoping for. What we really need is a way for any blockchain to talk to any other blockchain, regardless of its underlying technology. We need a truly interoperable system, one that breaks down the walls between these digital silos and allows for seamless communication and collaboration. Section 4. Why we need to solve this. The promise of a connected web 3. So why is this whole interoperability thing so important? Because a truly interconnected blockchain ecosystem could revolutionize the internet as we know it. Imagine a world where you can seamlessly move your digital assets and data between different platforms and applications without having to worry about compatibility issues or exorbitant fees. Think about it. Your digital identity, your financial transactions, your online reputation, all securely stored and managed across a decentralized network of interconnected blockchains. This is the promise of Web3, a more open, equitable, and user-centric internet. But without interoperability, Web3 is just a pipe dream. We'll be stuck with a fragmented and inefficient system that fails to live up to its full potential. We need to crack this nut if we want to usher in a new era of digital innovation. This isn't just about making our online lives more convenient. It's about creating a more inclusive and accessible digital world, one where anyone can participate regardless of their technical expertise or geographic location. Section 5. Kima and Friends. A glimmer of hope on the horizon. The good news is that there are some smart people out there working on this problem. One example is a project called Kima, which is developing a novel approach to blockchain interoperability. They're using something called 
zero knowledge proofs, which sounds incredibly complicated, but basically allows blockchains to verify information from other blockchains without actually revealing the underlying data. Think of it like showing someone your ID without actually letting them hold it. You're proving you are who you say you are without giving away all your personal information. It's a clever solution that could address some of the security and privacy concerns that plague existing interoperability solutions. Kima isn't alone in this fight. There are other projects out there exploring different approaches to interoperability, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. The key takeaway here is that there's a lot of innovation happening in this space and we're starting to see some promising solutions emerge. The challenge now is to foster collaboration and encourage the adoption of these solutions. We need to move beyond the siloed thinking that has characterized the blockchain space for too long and embrace a more collaborative approach. Section 6. The future is interoperable, hopefully. Let's get this bread. So, what does the future hold for blockchain interoperability? It's hard to say for sure, but I'm cautiously optimistic. The potential rewards are too great to ignore, and the industry is starting to recognize the importance of finding a solution. We're finally moving beyond the hype and starting to have some real conversations about the challenges and opportunities ahead. It's like that moment at the middle school dance when someone puts on a decent song and everyone starts awkwardly shuffling their feet in the same general direction. It might not be the most graceful sight, but it's a start. The path to true blockchain interoperability won't be easy. It will require collaboration, innovation, and a willingness to embrace new ideas. But if we can pull it off, the rewards will be immense. We'll unlock a new era of digital innovation, one that empowers individuals and fosters a more open and interconnected world. And that, my friends, is something worth striving for. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go find my old AIM screen name, BRB, 